Yeah, hi. Back on Whitney. I was talking about the bad weather coming to Europe because the really strong warm stream which goes now up on into the north, into the Arctic, which I have featured in recent video. And in another video I tried to show you what I meant with this might stop. And when I tried to show it to show it to you, it didn't anymore show it. So now I went back again to watch the whole forecast, what they were predicting, in a way what I saw once, what I was talking about. And this is a forecast, of course it can be wrong. I'm really aware of that. But it's somehow now the second time that it seems that this warm air flowing into the Arctic system, which keeps Europe warm and uh, the possibility of growing food and such. But now check it out, it starts to come from the north downwards already. That's Saturday, okay, it's a week. So that's the end of this uh, forecast model. And according to this, it seems to turn around in a way the weather doesn't anymore reach Europe, really. We are getting the weather from the north. And it also branches up to the west, which could mean that uh, there could be like really bad weather in Central Europe, not really nice weather to grow crops on your fields. Maybe there is also rain and stuff going on. We got the Saharan dust, which could make snow melt much faster if there's sunshine which could make floods as well and if there's much rain coming and all these kind of things uptick in earthquake activity and I'm still waiting to get the first news about some geothermal activity anomaly in the central Europe Italy, France, Switzerland, Germany, Austria, Poland, Spain, England, wherever, Netherlands. Yeah, let's see how it's uh, developing. Stromboli seems to be quite active today. There is some activity going on in Iceland. Also, maybe La Palma might crank up a tick. And I still wait that it will erupt again. It's just my... I think it's just taking a little break. It will erupt again. La Palma. Because many indicators are pointing to these kind of activities are just increasing and increasing. And it might have very much to do with the sun cycle, 25, which is really <laughs> cranking up. Since it's now totally 25 and not anymore like small parts of the sun cycle 24 hanging or like slowing it down in its development so we might just see a further increase in sun activity with being fully aware that the magnetosphere or the magnetosphere 
Oh, the magnetosphere of Earth is weakening. We have a pole shift going on. And it is a bit fasting, ticking up in speed a little bit. Someone could make the mathematics and count how many percents it sped up. Maybe five. Five percent faster than last month. Uh, yeah, it's really interesting to see. But somehow, this weather forecast, if that's approximately where we are heading to, and is there a flip in the Atlantic region area in the weather pattern going on for a prolonged period of time, weeks or months? Maybe. At least it started off with this really big sand plume which came from the Sahara to Europe. Unprecedented event. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the spring equinox. Tomorrow or tonight or sometimes. In these hours. And... Uh, yeah, more energy coming in. Get your food. Be ready, aware. Thanks. Bye.